What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's funny, it's natural, it's oracles, and I'm probably going to have to repeat myself. But uh, what is going on? How are you doing today? I'm just waiting for some people to come into the room. How are you doing? How are you doing? I've just turned it on. How are you doing? I'm just waiting for people to come into the room. Because guess what? Today is a new moon. So I'm going to mix two decks together just to get some messages and take some and do some damage. <laughs> See what the new moon has for us, people. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, what I want, people. What I want. How are you doing, peeps? <laughs> I like to call you my peeps because <laughs> that's not the way it is. The what I want sword tribe. How you doing, peeps? How you doing? I I'm just flicking some cards for the new moon. Okay. How you doing? You're proper cheer me up. Oh, thank you. I don't believe in negativity, no matter what your circumstances is. I believe in the glass half full. So therefore, um, you may not realise this, but I'm like this all the time. <laughs> At least I'm dead serious and I'm doing a personal reading or something. But. Um, I don't believe in negativity. I believe in positivity in all ways. How you doing, people? How you doing? Do you know what I've done? I've mixed two moonology in honour of the new moon today. I've mixed two new two moonology cards together. What is it? I've got this one and I've got this one. And <laughs> I've even got the box. So if you're interested, maybe later on. I'm not going to stay too long, but maybe even later on. I can actually tell you what you should be doing because new moons, if you didn't know, is all about manifestation. Okay, it's how you manifest in new moons, and this is what these cards are all about as well. New moon and moonology and how you manifest. So I'm going to get some cards out in honour the new moon today. And if you were wondering, what kind of forever? <laughs> I've got a little story about this. Actually, I've got a little story. How you doing? How you doing? Mooning. Let me just. I should bring the bloody phone closer to myself. But let me have a look. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Let me just have a look. Moon in Libra. I'm a Virgo. Yeah, I'm a Virgo too. I'm all over the place. Yeah. I've like, things are just, my washing machines broke down. Because we're in retrograde as well, aren't we? My washing machines broke down. My Fitbit's gone all right. It's just like flickering at me. All sorts of nonsense has gone on. I'm going to have to get a new washing machine. That's how bad it is. I'm just like in... Bits. <laughs> I'm in bits at the moment. It's all to do with the new moon and the retrograde. But um, I'm feeling, I do, I feel the energies. I really do feel the energies when this is happening. And, it, it, you know, it doesn't surprise me because some people don't believe in this. But if the moon can control the tides, why not? Why not humans too? Because <laughs> the tides is a, it, the, you know, the tide is a, it's a big deal, isn't it? Anyway. Like I said, I've got the two sets of cards. I put them together. My tiny hands are really having a hard time shuffling the two decks together. So I'm going to get a message out in reference, in, in honour of the new moon. And then we can go deeper, people. We can actually flick some cards and figure out what the hell's going on, okay? But I'm not going to stay too long because I'm bloody hungry. <laughs> you know when you get angry? It's a, what is it? Angry, angry, hungry. <laughs> That's what I am right now. I'm hungry. But I thought I'm telling the card... Uh, the camera before I got too tired and say let's check out the new moon so how you doing people how you doing I want to go on people want to go on big up yourselves don't forget to like share comment give me all your energy and we can get some decent reads out here okay <laughs> it, it goes both ways energy if you didn't know it's not you know it's not just me giving me my energy i need your energy too what's going on collective what's going on looking good for yeah i'm in my wakanda forever today <laughs> i got a little story about that actually <laughs> I love the Marvel comics, as you can see. I love the Marvel comics. I love sci-fi. And I got all hyped up for the sequel to um, Wakanda Forever. I even, let me show you. I've even got the cup. I've got the cup. I've got the t-shirt. I've got the sweatshirt. I'm that into it, right? <laughs> I can't buy all this stuff. I took my girlfriend to go and see the sequel. I was so disappointed. <laughs> I was so disappointed. <laughs> I love your energy. Thank you. I was so disappointed. I went to all this trouble. <laughs> the t-shirt, the sweatshirt, the cup even. And I'm drinking from the cup right now. But it wasn't, this is a coincidence. It's not coincidence. I usually drink it from this cup anyway because it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. I like the big cups. 
because um, I'm forever drinking water and stuff. But anyway, how's it going, people? Let's get some cards out. I'm here in honour of the new moon. If you've just caught me, I've got the moonology and I've got the new kid on the block. New manif you mo <laughs> moonology man manifestations because, as you know, the new moon is all about manifesting, if you didn't know. And I've even got the moonology book. I read this book to my Patreons. It's actually on my Patreon, the whole book I read it. But... In here, there's a section about what you should be doing to manifest. How to manifest to the new moon. There's different methods. But, you know, some of them work, some of them don't. For me, it's ask, believe, action, receive. And this is what this is telling you in this moonology book. By giving you the long version. <laughs> you know, you've got to step towards that actual um, manifestation. And believe it in your soul. It's like this. If you want to be a photographer, act like a bloody photographer. Like, you know, this is what I did. And now I'm a trained photographer. I've even got awards for my photography, if you didn't know. But um, if you want that promotion, act like the promotion you want. Do you know, that's your way of telling the universe, telling spirit that your intention is for real. You've got to feel what you want. How you doing, people? How you doing? Sweet Neo, I dug one. So I was just explaining manifestation. That's the short version. But basically, you should be asking, believing, actioning and receiving. And 20% is your action. 80% is spirit. Once you show the intention, tell the, tell the universe what you really want. Set those intentions. Step towards it. Do some kind of action towards it and feel it and know it that it's already yours. That's when you've done it. And I can tell you some testimonies too. I know it works. <laughs> I know it works. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop it now. Let's get some cards out because you know I can talk for England. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing spread the love yes yeah, spread the love people spread the love please share like comment subscribe and if anything resonates with you please show your appreciation i would i would be ever so grateful anyway i'm gonna stop flicking these cards and talking and get a card out so i'm not gonna look because i've got two decks mixed up together with my tiny hands thank you thank you I'm going to not look and see what comes out. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give us the message. Oh, the energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> is it my energy? Is it your energy? There's some kind of energy that's gaining momentum, the waxing moon. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but it could be because we're in a new moon and we're in a, um, a retrograde as well. Do you know, with retrogrades in particular, you get people coming back. All sorts of odd things happening. Things start conking out. Technology starts playing up. Okay, but the, the worst of it is... Well, it's a, it depends on how you feel about it. The worst or the better of it is that people start coming back that you don't expect. And this could be it. The momentum is growing, people. Let me get another card out. And I'm not going to look because these are mixed together and I don't want to cheat. So, make time for self... Oh, you see... Make time for self-love. Make time for self-love. I'm a strong believer in loving yourself, faults and all. And if you can love yourself, faults and all, you know, there ain't nothing you can't achieve. Because when you're loving yourself, that shows. Do you know what I mean? No matter what your circumstances are. You could be in the pits of hell. Let me tell you something. You can find positively, positively, positive positivity you can find positivity whatever your circumstances i am um, do you know what i had a conversation with my son and he said he met this uh, he was talking about this homeless man and i said to him do you know what that man is living his best life and he said what do you mean this man's living i mean he's sitting on the street corner he doesn't have to think about paying bills he doesn't have to think about credit cards. He doesn't have to think about all this kind of stuff, technology, whatever. All he does is hand his hand out and say, please help me. Do you know what I mean? That's the positive side of it. Yeah, you're on the street. Yeah, you're homeless. Yeah, you're all this. But the positive side is he doesn't have to think about technology. He doesn't have to think about his, you know, his washing machine breaking down, the watch that he ain't got. He doesn't have to think of any of these things. He just packs up his load and he's gone. <laughs> you know, 
this is what I say to you, no matter what your circumstances, love yourself first and everything else follows, okay? And this is what this is about. The momentum is here. Are you understanding and knowing that you can love yourself first? And whatever you, when you start loving yourself first, it brings the momentum of whatever you want because this is where it starts, when you love yourself because spirit is in with all of us, okay? And it's for you to pick up that energy, and the best way to do that is meditation, to set your intentions, to show, to ask for what you want. Ask the universe for what you want. I'm going to get one more card out because that's deep, people. It's where uh, he, what, what's that? His where, uh, do you know what? I've got glasses on. I, I put the bloody camera too far. Just a minute, people. I'm going to adjust this thing so I can see what's going on. It's where he wants to be yeah it's where he wants to be anyway it's where he wants to be and that's more comfortable that's what i'm saying to you you know you can't can't look at everything as a failure if you looked at things that everything is a failure you wouldn't get anywhere that person is on the floor tomorrow today but tomorrow they could be your they could be the ceo of a company do you know, because some people, when they learn to love themselves, they'll pick themselves up and they'll, they'll start going on their journey. Because you've got to learn to love yourself first. When you can love yourself first, you know there's nothing you can't achieve if you put your mind to it. What you imagine can be in the physicality. And this is what people don't seem to understand. Some people think things are impossible sometimes, but they're not. They're not. I, I am testing. I can testify to that. Trust and believe. I'm telling you. Anyway, let's get one more card out. I'm not going to look. <laughs> First quarter moon in Virgo. Access. Assess the situation. Assess the situation. This is telling me stories already. Here's what I'm getting. I'm going to, I'm going to, in other news. <laughs> this is the spiritual sense. Here's the spiritual sense. Energies is gaining momentum. We are in a new moon, Okay. Make time for self-love. When you can make time for self-love, you know, nothing is impossible, but ask, assess the situation. Assess the situation. Some of you are in limbo at the moment, waiting on people. This is what I'm getting for, in other news. Some of you are in limbo, sitting and waiting on people, but why? When you should be loving up on yourself. Love upon yourself, people. Love upon yourself. And if you do that, this momentum will, will carry you wherever you want to go. Trust and believe. Let me just adjust this camera because I can't see what's going down. Bear with me a second, people. I'm going to push you for up further in. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with my ugly mug. <laughs> oh, that's better. I can see you now. <laughs> so what's going down? Um, Let me just fix that. Okay, there you go. Followed by the... F yes, I want that one, people. What I want. Now, I have a question for you, people. Would you like me to actually show you from the Moonology book or read it out to you to tell you how you should be manifesting? Or you just can't be asked with all that or you just want me to flick some cards? Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, let's see. Follow the house, follow the house. Thank you. Thank you. Said daisies. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. Have I come too close? What is that? Let me scroll down. Let me scroll down. Let me see what's going down. Okay. Join, join, join. Let me just see what the comments are saying. Like, follow. Yes. Uh, oh, what I want, people. What I want on the big up on the self. You will be where the universe wants. Yeah. Him to be. But you don't have to, you know... You say that, but you can put yourself in the position to where you want to be. The universe is there to assist you. Spirit is there to assist you. I want to go on, people want to go on. Someone just sent me a message, but I, I can't be looking at that right now because um, I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry, angry. <laughs> so I'm not going to be here too long, but I want to see why these cards are here. Make time for self-love. The energy is gaining momentum and access... Uh, you know assess the situation but what situation do you need to assess is it what are you stagnant right now not thinking about yourself and not loving up on yourself because if you love up on yourself nothing is impossible people let me get some cards out and see why these are here so holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance guides beloveds ancestors i've got messages i'm not looking at literally how i'm feeling on my job oh my goodness i hear that over it what are you over people i love you too how you doing thank you thank you for the, the daisies over it what are you over 
tell me what you're over. I've got this. I'm up front, front and personal now, and I am right in your face. Oh my goodness! Why are these cards? Why is why is this message here? Now I did this in honor of the new moon. I've got out the moonology and the manifestation moonology, and I even got the moonology book. I read this to my Patreon, so the whole audio of the moonology book. This moonology book is actually on my Patreon if you're interested. You know, but you know, I read the whole book, so I kind of like you know, I'm into this kind of thing because you know. It does affect your moods, and today's a new moon, and where you should be manifested. So get with it. Write down your intentions. If you want the quick version, write down your intentions. Sometimes you could do up to ten intentions. Read them out to yourself if they make sense. Set yourself a goal for each one of those, you know, and really feel it when you're doing it that you really want, and then make action. Make an action plan to move towards that. Ask, believe, action, receive. <laughs> anyway. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep going. Let me just get some cards out. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, guides, beloved ancestors who love us unconditionally. Please give us the message we need to hear right now. Please give the collective the message we need to hear. As above, so below. So within, so without. Give us the clarity and understanding that we need right now in reference to these cards. What is going down, collective? What do we need to know? Just know you are God, you are sovereign, you are free. Okay, and if you don't know what I mean by that, hit me up afterwards. But God is within us. Every one of us has got a piece. The, the laws of oneness states that all of us have got a piece of spirit within us. We are all connected in some way, shape or form. It's for you to understand and know and to pick up on that intuition to understand and know. Anyway, I'm going to stop it now. <laughs> you are God. You are sovereign. You are free. Trust and believe. This is how it's meant to be. So... Let's get some cards out. What is the first card that we got here? Holy Spirit, please give me the message. Thank you. Oh, do you see what I mean? I was talking about the stagnancy, the unstable. In some of you, as this is not going to apply to all of you, but for some of you, you're kind of like in this stagnant state, undecided, confused as to which way to go because I'm getting the energy and the message that um, although you want to move forward like you should do, and give yourself the self-love you should do. Like it like it says here. You're in this assessment mode. You just don't want to move on. Because you just think. I, 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 in romance. If you want to talk about in romance sense. Okay. <laughs> if you want to talk in, in the romance sense. If you want to talk about relationships. You're just stuck waiting for somebody. And it shouldn't be that way. Okay. But if you want to talk about in general like a job. You're stuck in a job you don't want. Okay. Instead of manifesting what you want. You know, you sat there stuck because you're thinking about the money. And yes, sometimes it's hard when you're thinking about money. It's hard when you have to, um, you know, it's hard when you, you, you're living from paycheck. Pay but do you know what I say to that? If you have a purpose, if you have a passion, do that passion on the side. Make it your life's work to do that passion on the side. Trust and believe. OK, yes, carry on with the night until uh, until the, the one balances out the other. When that passion is paying more than your job, then you can leave your job. That's the good way to do it. But what you've got to do is set the intention. So in romance sense, some of you are sat there stagnant and stable waiting for people to come back instead of going on your journey, going forward with what you should be doing. Yes, there's people in the background that you'd rather be doing the journey with, but you know, it's like I say, like I always say, love is what brought you together or what's even separated you. But the real purpose, especially if you're on a spiritual journey, is for you to find your purpose and your push and your passion to create that abundance, to be able to link up with your person again. Both of you will be have gone on your journey. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if. If this person is not doing on the same route as you, well, I'll see you in the next lifetime. And I always say that. I'll see you in the next lifetime. But what you've got to think about is, yes, it's love that brought you together. But stop sitting there waiting for these people. Sit in and watch it. Stop it. This is confusion. This is like stagnancy. Stop it. Okay? <laughs> so let's see. This is why it says make make time for self-love make time for self-love love on yourself first figure out your passions figure out your purpose do you know because this energy will gain momentum it will gain. get what i'm giving to it if you get what i'm getting make sure you're assessing the situation this is you in analyze uh, this is like the hermit 
analyzing the situation because remember it says here first quarter moon in virgo virgo is the hermit card the hermit is always analyzing this is what you need to think about okay assess the situation assess your situation and think about how you can get out of certain situations how you can get out of that mindset and the first thing is always love on yourself first so let's move on with that let's see what's going on next oh this is deep for the new mood isn't it so oh yeah see this is what this is the 11 11 this is the four of wands okay but it's my 11 11 card this is you're thinking about you're stagnant but really you should be thinking about your um your your ultimate happiness and it could be with somebody else it could be with the person that you're pining over it could be that it could you know for some of you it's just confusion and stagnancy all right but you are thinking about your ultimate happiness what else is coming out here oh what that one people what that one <laughs> on the big up on the self yeah Instead of thinking about your happiness, you're just staying up at night trying to figure out what to do. But you, you can't keep being in your head. You can't go letting the, the demons just attacking you all the time. Do you know what? I always say, feel the fear and do it anyway. You've got to feel the fear and do it anyway. Regardless, because fear is part of the devil entity, the negative energy that you don't need. We're not here for that. We're not here for that. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Even if you feel like you're going to feel silly, even if you're going to feel doubt in your mind, do it because it's doubt is part of the negativity, is part of the devil entities. You don't want it. Trust and believe. Think about this happy situation and stop with the stagnancy, with the confusion, with the um, redundant. It doesn't make sense. You can do... People think that, do you know, everybody, even if you don't think, everybody has a choice everybody has a choice in what they're doing okay and this ain't it because life is going to pass you by you don't want this nice you don't want this nonsense because this is your ultimate happiness you should be working towards instead of like this stagnant in stagnancy and this nightmares at night thinking about where you're going to get your next bread from you know if you're in the cost of, the cost of living crisis where you're going to get your next loaf of bread from i shouldn't say it like that but manifestation is real manifestation is real get into it people this is why the new moon is here this is why you get a lot of these tarot readers sprouted about the new moons all the quarter moons the the, the portals you know the 11 11 portals the, you know the next the, the next few that's coming up the 8 8 portals all these portals is about manifestation okay it's about living your best life okay <laughs> it's about living your best life stop it with the nightmare situation you can do something about it if you want to and i'm saying it flippantly but it's not a flippant thing really <laughs> do you know what i mean look you just feel you just feel like a victim when you see this you just feel like a victim oh what i want people what i want <laughs> now in other news i'm giving you the spiritual but in other news there's somebody here that um, you're blind and deaf to and or this person is just confused as to how to come towards you for this ultimate happiness because this is the 1111 this is the twin flame so much soul tie card okay this is about this soul tie let me tell you and, and and this is like somebody who's up at night trying to figure out how to get come towards you because they know they gave you a stabation a trication a juggulation this is somebody in their nightmares you know you know when the spirit is attacking them at night because of what they did <laughs> <laughs> I want to go on, people I want to go on. <laughs> I'm telling you, what's going on here is this person, they feel like the victim because um, they shouldn't do that because they cause this on themselves. When you see these two cards together like this, somebody is like, they're thinking about all the starvation and trication. And Sometimes it's not even just you. It's like other people as well. The starvation, the trication, the juggulation of it, of it all. Oh, oh, why is these here, spirit? Because somebody's just confused as to get to how to get to this happiness. And here's what I've got to say. Hello, people. Hello. <laughs> what I want, people. What I want. Some people is just unhappy about what's going on. They're just in this stagnation. Somebody said, you, Val. This ain't me. <laughs> no chance in hell. <laughs> I don't give a monkeys. I, uh, do you know what? I'm going to tell you something. If yeah, I, I believed I had a twin flame soulmate situation, but I'm also one of those people that leave situations emotionally. Okay. I leave emotionally before I leave physically. 
and it confuses people sometimes. When I go there, if I'm still arguing with you, okay, you got you got a chance. But from the minute I stop arguing with you and I go quiet, and you're arguing all day long and you're making up noise all day long and you don't hear nothing from me, that's your goose cook. That's me done. <laughs> So when people say things like that, that's not true of me in particular. That's not true of me. This is not me. I move on very fast. I don't, I don't, I don't dally with exes. The only person I've ever dallied with in that sense is a twin flame, a soulmate situation. Okay. And even that I've cut dead now. That's me personally. I can't talk for other people. I've cut that dead. I'm not interested because they did too much. You know, did too much. Okay, so I'm not going down that road. So you can spout all that you want. <laughs> hey, maybe it's because I'm hungry and now I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking like this. But it was up in their head. Somebody's confused about how to how to go towards this happiness. Okay, and it's kind of like they know what this situation is. This is the twin flame soulmate situation. So let me get another card out because somebody's feeling like the victim now, and they don't know how. They're worrying about how to step to this situation. This could be your person. It could, you know, this could be a situation. This could be your person that um, you're thinking about. Whoever you're thinking about, one more card, yeah, because they want to be this. Because they want to be this passionate person in your life now. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Somebody's confused as to how to step to you. They want to step to you. Remember, we're in a retrograde. There's some weird stuff happening. Not only have we got a new moon with a manifestation. Have you been manifesting your person back to you? Or are you manifesting new situations? Do you know? I don't know. I want to go on, people. I want to go on. You're talking about my life and my situation. Oh, my goodness. A lot of people are going through this. I'm telling you. It's it's um it's not an isolated situation because a lot of people are waking up. There's a lot of people going down the spiritual path. There's a lot of people that have been touched by divine. Okay. Some of them acknowledge it. Some of them are closet high priest and priestesses. You know, or they cut it all comes out in a different way for them. But let me tell you something. The reason why a lot of these things I'm telling you is because a lot of people out there are waking up. And this is what it is. <laughs> whereas, you know, whereas spirituality and you know, talking about the universe and all this kind of stuff was a novelty back in the day. Now it's like almost the norm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But the thing is, people don't seem to understand that spirituality is a lot older than Christianity, if you want to go down that road. So, <laughs> and this is what people don't seem to understand. You know, spirituality is a lot older than Christianity. And if you go to the Bible, and I don't want to go down there, some parts of the Bible is true, but some parts of it is man-made to keep people in constraints, okay? And I'm not going to say any more because that's very controversial. I know that's controversial for some people, but I'm not going down that road. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> I got sidetracked there, you know, because I could talk for England. I could keep going. But somebody wants to be passionate with you now. Somebody wants to be passionate. And they don't know how to come up. They don't know how to go about it. There may be this person in the daytime, but it's the nighttime when the demons are nam them. <laughs> they don't know how to deal with this. They don't know how to come forward to this situation. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> They don't know how. So let's move on and see why this is here. So I'm going to flick some cards. I've only got five cards out, but I did this in honour of the new moon. Okay, I did this in honour of the new moon. And so the first card that's come out is somebody confused, stuck. You're maybe blind and deaf to this situation and it's affecting them because they're really thinking about this happiness and what they did to destroy this happiness. Basically, this is ultimate. This is the Twin Flame Summit. This is somebody out there who knows that you're connected to them in some way. It's like, a, it's like an energetic stream where you're feeling the pull and this person is feeling the pull, but you, you have done the right thing maybe and gone on your journey. And if it's for you, it'll never go by you. And this is the thing. Now, the problem is... <laughs> The problem is this person is now up in their head. They don't know what to do. They, they're losing sleep at night. They're stressing. The demons at night are attacking them. They're having nightmares because of what they did in the background. That is what they did. It's, it's haunting them now. And it's them that's feeling like the victim. But really, they want to be this to you. They want to be this passionate person. So this is the um, step before the emperor. This is the king that could be the emperor one day. OK, and this person is just feeling like the victim now. They may appear like this, the leader, the fighter, the enthusiastic, the passionate person in the daytime. But you see, nighttime, 
You see my type with the demons that name them? <laughs> so let's get some more cards out. Holy Spirit, please give me the message. Why is the Two of Swords here? Whoever this person is. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to get controversial now. I'm going to get controversial because th this king is the married king in the deck. Okay. They're the committed person in the deck. Okay, I don't want to get too controversial, but either this person, whoever this person is, and they could have been financially attractive too. Somebody who might even be, it's A, either somebody who's financially attractive, who's actually confused about you, okay, and or B, this person was married, okay, they was in a commitment, and they're now confused as to come towards you because what I'm getting, and the messages I've been getting lately from Spirit is, these people are leaving these karmics. I'm not going to go any deeper than that. I'm just going to say, these people are leaving karmics, okay? And they're confused as to how to come towards you now because they, some of them did too much. Some of them were really manipulative. Some of them were really like... Like, for example, I get... Sometimes I, I'm, get, I'm getting that these people were so controlling they're bringing nothing to the table. They were like cheapskates. How you going? How's it going? They were like cheapskates, some of them. Some of them were like cheapskates. Some of them was like being controlling and they're bringing nothing to the table they were breadcrumbing you they were love bombing you there was there was trauma bonding and all this kind of nonsense and they were bringing absolutely nothing to the table okay but they could be hiding their fault who you really are okay and they probably had choices they had choices and and they weren't thinking when they had those choices they were thinking with their heart <laughs> They were thinking with their money. They were thinking, what is the best circuit? What's the best situation for me so that I, I I don't have to give up too much of my money and all this kind of nonsense? And they went towards the person that they thought. And it was a karmic. And the karmic was nyamd them out. <laughs> the karmic nyamd them. This is the message I've been getting for some of you. Some of you, these people were just, um, although they appeared to be stable and reliable, they weren't. They weren't. You know, they was like confused. They was like the confused one. They was like the, the indecisive person. And being undecisive, let me tell you something. Being undecisive is still a choice. Being undecisive, because no matter what you do, time moves on. Time moves on. Situations move on. You know, it, it's like time, 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 time. Time is the master. And time can be disaster if you don't care. <laughs> I've got all these songs in my head Spirit just hits me with these songs But These people, it's just confused This person may appear to you have been stable But they weren't Thank you, thank you so much But, and they weren't They were just confused And maybe they just were indecisive about the situation But what's going on here now? This person is thinking about their happiness. So I'm going to get a card out as to why this is here. So we can get a real uh, sense of why that card is here, okay? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Here's what it is. This person, who could have been confused and unbalanced, now sees this situation. They want this as a wish. Thank you for the daisies. I don't even know what all half of this means because I'm new to um, lives. I don't... I mean, I'm kind of doing them on a daily now, but... And I just pop up, but... I don't know what half of these things mean. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to fix this screen so I can see what's going on. Yep, yep. Everybody's going, yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, this this person is wanting this now, whereas they didn't want it before. They thought they could be the, um, the player from the Himalayas. I'm getting some of them are even too old to be bachelors or and or not even bachelors, too old to be playing these um, player from the Himalayas, you know. <laughs> You know, the in and out energy. They're too old for that nonsense, but they're still playing these games because they think that, you know. Do you know what I get with some of these, especially the masculine energy? Some of these masculine energies think there's too much woman in the world for them not to be, even if they're 70, they feel like they can still attract a woman. And that's not the case. Some of these people are going to die alone. <laughs> it's not to say that being alone is a bad thing because I'm alone. It's not a bad thing. You know, and if you can sit in your loneliness, not even loneliness, if you can be alone and be happy, you've won the battle. There ain't nothing nobody can tell you. You're at peace. And all it is is somebody needs to add to that peace. If they can't add to that peace, tell them, go away. <laughs> go about the business. Because I'm telling you, this person has got nothing but a wish fulfillment for this happiness now, this ultimate happiness. This twin flame soulmate soul tie situation. But is it a situation of I'll see you in the next lifetime? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, 
I tell you, but somebody's stressing out. Somebody's stressing out here, people. Somebody said, thank you. Who's Mr. T? Who's T? Thank you, T. But um, somebody's stressing out. They're losing sleep at night. They're worried. The demons are attacking them at night because of the nonsense they did in the background. And now they're regretting it. And this is about spirit kicking them up the arse nightly. And <laughs> saying, you damn fool. The higher self is saying, you damn fool. Thank you, Nikki. They, they say, you damn fool. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you ain't joking today, girlfriend. But um, the demons at night attacking them. You know, spirit is going to put them in spiritual jail and all sorts of nonsense. They're being made, their ancestors is like conversing with the other ancestors saying, look, look, I know this is one is a waste of time sometimes, but please see with them. See if they can help them out or something. Do you know, I'm going deep now. But anyway, <laughs> this is somebody who's just going through it. It's in the plainest turn, this is somebody who's losing sleep at night, okay? Oh, what that one, people, what that one. So, see, let's see why that's here. Why is that here? Holy Spirit, please give me the message. Yeah, because of the... Ch them pick to them pick shit. I can't believe that's coming. <laughs> them pick to them pick shit. <laughs> they had so many choices. They had so many choices, right? And, and see, if you look at this card, this is like there's a demon, there's a snake. The, what does that remind you of there? I'm going to be naughty now, but what does that remind you? Something poking up there. <laughs> I want that one, people want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. What's going on, Nikki? What's going on? And I'm telling you, there's a dragon here. There's somebody who could have been in their emperor energy. You see that? That's like the emperor. You know, like Caesar had that that wreath around his head at one point. Do you know what I'm getting? You see what I'm getting, people? But there's dragons. There's like you know snakes. There's a blue person there. Is that the Kirby <laughs> who they picked? Our <laughs> dog one. Whatever they picked over you, they they just um losing out. You know this person picked to their pit shit basically. They picked to their pit shit, or they didn't make a choice at all. And and by not making a choice, is a choice because that choice is going to be made for you, <laughs> and that's what it is. And what I'm getting is some of you walked away and let, left this person to it, so they had no choice but to go towards this karmic situation because they thought, yeah, they could have left the situation before. Like like me, I would left the situation emotionally before I left physically. They could have, and they could have just done. Some of these men do things just to make it look like it was your fault why the situation split up, but in actual fact, they antagonized you. To actually do it, do you know, they said some nonsense to you and you let off on them, you know, that kind of thing. You know, this is what they do, but now they realize they picked an epic shit because you was a loyal one, you was a trustworthy one, you was a rider there, you was Bonnie and Clyde, and now this person is, <laughs> you know, this person is stressing out over it. They want to be this passionate person with you, they want to be this passionate person with you, but what is this coming out for that? But what is coming out for that? Let's see. But in actual fact, <laughs> you're just, um, they want to be passionate. But look at the, what's come out. The four of pentacles. This is somebody. This is you holding back from this person. They want to be passionate with you. Did you cut, delete, karate chop, get her in the one, two? Did you, da -da -da? You got the boxing gloves on, didn't you? <laughs> you went, da -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. You said, nata, bungo, wungo. You're not going there with this person. They could be passionate all they want. Okay. And some of you, they could have even tried to contact you. And you just said, nope, I'm blocking that shit. Because I know you're not ready for me yet. No. <laughs> you're not ready for me yet. No. And so you withheld from this person. You held back your time, your energy, your money. And this person actually felt it. They felt the pull of the energy. Because here's what I get with some of these people. You big them up so much. that they thought they could take their... their <laughs> could take that energy elsewhere and still get the big up that you gave them but you see when you withdrew your energy because you was the abundance you was the energy that was giving them life you was the one that was helping out you could have been the superwoman or the superman you could have been the cook the chef the uh the whore in the bedroom the business person you could have been all that to this person but the minute you withdrew your energy this is you withdrawing your energy from this person who is actually passionate about you but didn't show it okay the minute you withdrew your energy Energy. this person felt it and this is why they now feel like the victim but why is this card here now why are they feeling like the victim because remember they gave you the stabation the trication the jugulation okay this is the past betrayal that probably most of you are just not you, you just don't care anymore because you're past that stage but this is the person now feeling like the victim because they can't get to you now some of you you block your delete your karate chop them but some of you may be still in contact with 
these people, but it's very superficial. It's very on the superficial level, and they they're feeling it with the demons at night because they know what they did. You know they know. They know you know. <laughs> And they're not talking it. Some of these people know they should come forward and apologise. Some of these people know they should come forward and have a conversation and they're not doing it. And because of that, then they're feeling like the victim now. I can't believe I'm telling you. So I'm going to see why that's starvation is here. Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Yeah. Hey, this up, honestly. Look. <laughs> spirit come true spirit come true i'm telling you the seven of swords is here this person's feeling like the victim now because they know they should come forward and do this and rather than come forward with their pride and ego this is pride and ego at play here okay when i see this as well this person could have made out like it was you like i said previously it's come out now this person could have made out like it was your fault why this the situation had gone awry and it wasn't they're telling the world left right and center that it was your fault and it was them that did it because they wanted to go in another direction whatever that direction was another person do you know they wanted to be free they didn't want to commit they wanted to be the gigolo they wanted to be the internet energy the community dick the community panani okay that's what they wanted to be okay whatever the circumstances are but now they're suffering for their their, their misgivings their deception their lies they're suffering for that now you know, and it's then why they're feeling like the victim, but still yet they still want to be in their ego. I trust and believe people, I want to go on, people want to go on, but going back to the real beginning, <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> Make sure you're loving on yourself first <laughs> and assess the situation because they're coming back, people. They're coming back. <laughs> trust and believe these people are not joking. I'm telling you, what's at the bottom of the deck? You see, I can't believe that come out like that. I can't believe that's come out like that. This is the, the Seven of Swords. The trication and juggulation. Now, the question is, are you going to come out this defensive mode? When I go to the bottom of the deck, people, is the do bottom of, I'm the bottom of the deck queen and it's future energy. So, are you... This is what I'm saying, asking now. Are you going to come out of this defensive mode? <laughs> are you coming out of this defensive mode? Are you going to stop... I had this conversation yesterday, protecting your energy. Yes, yeah, sometimes you have to protect your energy. You have to release. This is spirit got your back. This is the fourth four four one four 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 okay that was my numbers actually one four 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 is my numbers but are you protecting your energy from somebody who wants to control the situation but they can't you see when you see the emperor like this okay this is somebody who really wanted to control the situation but you know you've decided at long last to put your barriers up to put your boundaries up to cut, delete, karate, chop. And this is somebody who doesn't know how to handle it because I'm getting that a lot of you collective in the past, you let this person run rod shot, they would disappear for a while and they would come back like nothing happened. Okay, this is for this is for some of you, not all of you. But this time, they're seeing a different you because you've been touched by divine, whereas you, or you found your intuition or your gut feeling kicked in. Okay, and you learnt the art of discernment. And so now... You're protecting your energy against this nonsense. And this person doesn't know how to take it. And, <laughs> and I'll tell you what's happening now. This is why I say, I'll, I'll tell you why I say what I say. Damn, I watch you. <laughs> this is at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, this is not me. This is the bottom of the deck. Okay. This is Damn, I watch you. And this is what I say to you. Some of these people might have slandered your name in the middle of doing this. When you see this card sometimes, they could have slandered your name. And you don't even know anything about it, but you see what you see what spirit says, you see what God says? I protect you from the conversations that these people have in the background so you don't hear it for a reason. Because they're gonna get the slapping of their life. <laughs> they're gonna get this karma's gonna hit them. And I, and I always say this, and I haven't said it lately, but karma is one of those things that hits them where it hurts them the most. Okay. It hits them where if they've got assets, they're losing them. Okay, if this is what they prize the most, this is what's happening. They're going to lose it. Thank you. I want that one. Uh, and I can tell you, I've got this little scenario always in my head. You see, when people think it's bad, some people think that karma is bad luck and it's not. It's karma. And I'll tell you why. I, I always give this little scenario. 
you know, these people think it's bad luck. They instead of getting out of bed, they're falling out of bed. Okay, they fall out of bed, hurt themselves. Okay, instead of going down the stairs, they fall down the stairs. Okay, <laughs> they go in the kitchen because they want to go to work. They go in the kitchen, go back the toes, the toes burn. Okay, so they can't eat. They go to work hungry. They go to the front door and trip over the ledge before they come out to their car. They get to the car and the tires burst. <laughs> so they're going to be late for work now. So when they finally get to work, <laughs> the boss says, that's the last time you're fired. <laughs> start losing the assets the money the everything else that is just the beginning of it <laughs> karma as karma as a bitch okay and it's best served cold <laughs> karma as a bitch and i'm telling you you know but there is the law of karma and the law, first law of karma you reap what you sow whatever you invest in is what you get back what you reap your soul for actions there's consequences okay and so this is what happens and even if it takes 10 years and you don't even see that karma that karma's you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear it i heard an instant of it the other day somebody did somebody wrong okay it's one of my people's them okay somebody did somebody wrong and it wasn't really nasty what they did and this person they they separated but she this person did she 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 didn't know what happened to him because she cut the lead karate dot but people came to her and said this person is just down and out now i don't know what happened between you but this person is literally on the floor and i know karma is real because i've seen it first time myself you know if it's justified right karma will play 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 the hand and justice will balance out trust and believe so when you see this, I say all that to say, people. When you see this, <laughs> come on, see. And all they can do is watch there and watch and obsess about what you're doing, and they will pretend like they're not watching. But you see, sometimes you get in the middle of the night where you get to drive by them. <laughs> In the middle, and you could feel at somebody's energy, somebody in your energy. You could just feel their being. You know. Sometimes when you get those feelings, like, I I've said this before, but it's like sometimes you could be sitting there, normal, enjoying your life, just sitting there, just normal, and all of a sudden you feel anxious, you feel fear, and you know it's not you. This is these people in your energy watching you and obsessing and being the per you know, and it could be a, a soul tie that's doing this. You get what I'm giving, collecting, you get what I'm giving. I, I should read some of what's going down. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I want that go on, people want that go on. But yeah, this is what's going down, people. So these people are watching you like a hawk. What's next? You see what I say with them, I chat you. You see what I mean? They can't help but talk about you. They might be getting, the people might be getting fed up of listening to them because they, they chat some shit. But people, do you know what I'm getting here as well? This is not for all of you. This is for some of you. When they're having these conversations, yes, this is about partnership. This is about, but sometimes it's about conversing with other people. Do you see one person? And up on a pedestal chatting their shit okay <laughs> i want to go on people want to go on but you know sometimes it's like they talk sometimes it's in a good sense sometimes in a bad sense but what i'm getting here is this person is talking some shit <laughs> and this is why they're watching you intently to see if you're going to slip up you know but like i said collective walk in silence collective walk in silence if you're in this situation where you're not talking to this person. Be careful about, um, and I had this conversation today about mutual mutual friends. Think about if they was your friend to begin with or if it was their friend to begin with to be a mutual friend. Okay? Think about it. I had this conversation with somebody today. But yeah, think about who the mutual friends is because they could be using them as flying monkeys. They could be using them to, to fit, find out information from you. And that's why I say walk in silence collective, not talking business. You know, because when these people are minding your business, who's minding theirs? <laughs> you get what I'm giving, collective. I'm telling you, it's deep. What did I just drop? Did I drop from the, yeah. So these people could have been in their hermit mode. They could be in their hermit mode. Because they chat so much shit and people, and this is what I was going to say. They chat so much shit for so long that people have stopped, stopped believing what they're saying. Do you know? And they're probably going to look for themselves as to who you really are. Okay? And they get the, and these people get the shock of their life, the surprise of their life sometimes. 
you know, because it's not what this person is saying. That's in the bad sense. But in the good sense, this person is watching you and probably talking about you and saying, how the hell, you know, asking advice from people and friends as to how to come forward to you. Oh, well done, go on. Thank you, Paige. Thank you. How to come forward to you, how to be that person for you. Do you get what I'm saying, collective? I'm telling you. They could even be in their hermit mode. They're in their little cave analysing, trying to figure out what to do because, eh, hey, what? You're the boss, bitch, the boss man. Like I said, walk in silence, collective. When you see this card, this is about secrets. This is about keeping secrets. Thank you, thank you. I can't pronounce your name, though. S-H-I-Q. Thank you. But, you know, this is, when you see this one, this is like the, the, the boss bitch. She's the one that is in within spirit, with spirit, okay? Spirit, she's conversing with spirit. And here's what it is. She's the one that gnaws all and sees all and says nothing, okay? And sometimes you can use that to your advantage, do you know? Because silence speaks a... Do you know, silence speaks a lot sometimes. When you go into silent mode, it's... Thank you so much. When you go into silent mode, that speaks volumes to some people. Because they're not used to it. Do you know, I'd rather walk away and keep my peace than to be sitting there arguing with people. If I love you to that point where I'm arguing with you, yeah, you got a chance. But you see, when I go silent in the middle of an argument, I go dead silent and you don't hear another peep out of me and the argument done and you just still don't hear nothing. And I'm going, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. That's when you know you, you, your goose is cooked. That's when you know. So when you see this kind of thing, okay, sometimes it's better to turn your back than it is to actually converse with these people because they're just drawing you out into negative energy and you don't want that. You don't want the negative energy because it brings your spirit down and then you, you, it just makes you out of control. Positivity in all things. And if it means that this person is corrupting your peace, turn your back, release it because it's not good. And fight that battle another day. Fight that battle another day. And when you see this one, the boss bitch, the boss man, you're busy on your journey. <laughs> you're busy walking in silence. <laughs> you're busy doing you. Because <laughs> this is the ultimate self-love. This is the ultimate self-love. Conversing with spirit. You get what I'm giving, collective? You get what I'm giving? I'm going to get one more card. You see, you was in judgment, people. You was in judgment. You said not a bunga. When you see this card, this is of spirit. Not only is spirit making a judgment on this card. Major Arcana is, is of spirit. These are all of decisive things. These are major incidents in the actual tarot. Okay, if nobody's ever explained that to you. But you see, when you see the judgment, the judgment is about you making a decision and it's a permanent decision. When you see the judgment card, because like you can get the two of, you can get the two of swords or the two of pentacles and they're about decisions. They're about b being blind and deaf, Do you know, ignoring things like this one or just confused. But you see when you see this, this is a decisive situation. This is an absolute not going back situation. And what is that not going back? What is that decision? Are you making a life elsewhere or is, does somebody see you as... Somebody's making a decisive decision. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. You see, when you see the hand in the cloud, the hand in the cloud is of spirit, okay? Somebody wants to come forward to you with a stable beginning. They see you as the gift, okay? Somebody sees you as the gift. Now, if this is the, the, the reconciliation, you, you have to use the art of discernment, but you've made a decision to go on your journey. For me, this is you going on your journey, investing in yourself. You can look at it two ways. Somebody wants to come forward to you, they see you as the gift, or this is you investing in yourself, okay? Investing in your journey, investing in what you want to do. But this is a decisive decision. Trust and believe. This is like... <laughs> exercising the ghosts <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> this is like oh I, I made up my mind I've made up my mind I'm not going back on this because what I say what I say is what is for you will never go by you and if they are meant to be there in your life they will be but I always say sit on that throne and don't let that crown tilt you know you should be attracting not chasing Collective, my peeps, if you get the message, if you understand and know what I'm talking about, you get what I'm giving, Collective, because I'm telling you, my peeps, <laughs> just know, sit on that throne. Thank you, Paige. Sit on that throne and don't let that crown tilt. You attract, you do not chase. Even a man in their masculine energy, if he is an emperor, who the person that has done them wrong, okay, sit on that throne. Sit on that throne and don't let that crown tilt. 
even as a man. Get, because it's not just women that go through these things. There's men out there that's on their spiritual journey and they get nothing but the hurt and the pain. They get nothing but the... Um, and, and it makes you want to not converse with people anymore. But you have to use the art of discernment sometimes. You have to use the art of discernment and to know and understand. What your spirit... Energy is everything. What your energy is picking up. In Jamaica, uh, it, Jamaicans will say, like, you can walk into a room and say, my spirit don't take to that person. That means that you're feeling that person's energy and you know that energy is not right. So you'd rather not deal with that energy. And people don't seem to understand that you can do that. If you was to actually meditate, start meditating, I know some people find it a boring thing, but even in just sitting there, closing your eyes and listening to your breathing... And see what comes up. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. And just and just see what comes to mind. Spirit will start talking to you. Ask the questions. Because you can ask spirit questions. You can say, well, if, if this is meant to happen, show me the red roses. Or And then all day long, if you see red roses, there's a spirit answering your question. If you see and you, uh, you say, oh, show me white roses. And if you see white roses all day long, then, then spirit is answering your question. You know, you can be that specific that you want to see the answer in the physicality. You can be that specific. Do you know what I mean? You know, for me, I see feathers all over the place. I see feathers all over the place. Like, you know, if I ask a question or I do get specific sometimes. And, and this is the thing you've got to in all of this. I could sprout this all day long. But in all of this, OK, if you don't love yourself first, all of this is pointless. All of this is meaningless because spirit is love. If 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 it's two things in this life, spirit has given us it's unconditional love and free will. It's the free will. That's the problem. <laughs> free will that's the problem in it anyway i've gone all in the full circle now all of this i say all this to say today is a is a new moon and this is the day to manifest so if you want that person back and you want them correct manifest it manifest it step towards it okay <laughs> this is what it's like. this started with these three cards okay it says here the energy is gaining momentum this is about this is about you manifesting uh, these cards are about manifestation i mixed up two if you was if you wasn't here earlier i mixed up two cards with one okay i've got the moonology and the moonology manifestation because today is a day of manifesting okay and the second thing is make time for self-love make time for self-love you need to you need to make time for yourself even if it's just pampering yourself meditation set up your altar you know i've got my desk is my altar in one you know exactly and 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 then and then assess the situation this is what the free cards came out originally and i say all that to say is because these people are coming back <laughs> some a lot of you for a lot of you some of these people when you least expect it it's going to be a surprise and it's going to leave you. It's going to leave you in this quandary. Where is that card gone? It's going to leave you in this quandary because a lot of these people have done things in the background. And, and the problem is, can you trust it? Because at one point, and I'm getting, and this is a lot of the collective. These people you trusted at one point. These people, you will ride the die for them. These people, you, you, it was like Bonnie and Clyde. You connected on such a level that um, it was hard to be. But that person wasn't ready for you. You was like an earth angel to these people. Some of you, I'm not saying it's all of you, but some of you, you was like an earth angel to this person. You was there to send a test to them to see if they were ready for you and they weren't. You might have triggered each other. Yes, you know, you're only human. All right, you triggered each other. You triggered each other, but it's what you do after that triggering what makes the difference. You get what I'm saying? For me, it's like, um, this is where your shadow work comes in. This is where the shadow work comes in. You need to analyse what triggered you. For example, somebody says not something nasty to you, right? And it triggered you, okay? You have to ask yourself why that triggered you. And nine times out of ten, it's something deeper. Like, for example, there's something you need to fix with yourself. There's something that's happened that you need to do some kind of assessment about yourself. Do you know, it's kind of like, this is what shadow work is. If people don't explain these things to you, this is what it is. That's what shadow work is, okay? It's analysing a lot of your triggers, a lot of your traumas, and analysing it and going deep on it. 
don't take it as a surfing lip. Go to the basement. If you've ever read, um, what is her name? Ivana uh, Alan. I've read it to my Patreons. It's all on Patreon. I read it all to my Patreon. You go to the basement, but not going to the basement enough. You've got to climb the levels. You've got to climb the levels to actually get to the bottom of that trauma. Why? Because nine times out of ten, is the trauma is about not loving yourself. It all leads back to that path sometimes. It's about not loving yourself sometimes. But anyway, I could go deep on that subject. I'm not going to. And we're all human and we're all imperfect sometimes. We're not perfect. But if you know better, you do better. You get what I'm saying? And so a lot of these people that you're dealing with sometimes, they... um are brought up in trauma situations and they're dysfunctional and therefore they act out that dysfunction sometimes where's your peaceful for example i'll give you a good example there's some people that love drama and they can't understand why everything has to be drama filled and you're not into the drama and they see you as boring but it's not boring it's their dysfunction okay you just want peace and light and love and light and peace and whatever okay and all they want is drama but there's dysfunction that keeps them in that drama it's the, it's the dysfunction of it all they don't realize that being at peace is the normal stance okay and if they if they find you boring it, it, you know they have to look into themselves as to say why are you boring because you want peace do you know what i mean you want peace that's all there is <laughs> It's all about the free will, people. It's all about the free will. So I'm going to love and leave you because I'm hungry, angry. <laughs> I need to go get some food. I need some food in my life. <laughs> so I'm going to love and leave you, people. I hope that made sense. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit up my YouTube. I do longer videos on YouTube, although I've been doing a lot more on TikTok lately, I have to admit. But um, I do longer videos on YouTube. Anything that I do on um, TikTok, it goes at the longer version on Valerie's Naturals or of course, hashtag shorts. Or I've got the longer one, which is my main channel, Valerie's Naturals Oracles. I've also got Patreon. If you're into subscription and you want extended, I've got the Patreon is sitting there. But I'm, I'm hoping to start subscriptions on here and do extra stuff for the TikTokers here if you subscribe. So, I, you know, I'm yet to get a subscriber. So if you if you subscribe, we're on a one-to-one -one level. <laughs> you can get the mini reads. You can get the extra content. But um, you have to subscribe, innit? So I can do subscription-only lives as well, if you didn't know. Thank you, Paige. You've been a star. So I'm going to love and leave you. Okay, and don't forget I do personal readings. And I'm doing a special right now. Some of you have taken up the option. <laughs> so thank you. But um, I'm doing, I was trying to do 11-11 actually. But it wouldn't take it. So if you go to the link in my barrel, I'm, uh, barrel, my, ba my bio, okay. I'm doing um, mini reads 11 pounds, okay. That's it. Mini reads 11 pounds. But that is not going to stay there for long because I get overwhelmed sometimes and I just have to stop it because um, it gets too much. So take your chance while you can. OK, so I'm going to love and leave you people until next time. And don't forget about Saturday Eva. I'm going to do me and Kate Tarot are going to be doing um, the Zodiac signs from Aries right back to Pisces. So come and join us on, uh, on Saturday. We're going to do Saturday this week, but I usually do Sundays. For 7 o'clock. So Saturday, 7 o'clock, join me. I think you might see the events come up on my videos anyway. But make sure you click and so you know, so it will alert you when I'm actually there. Okay? So until next time, take care and I'm your Haringe Cure. <laughs>